guys it's your girl kismat aka that's salika chic and you're welcome to my channel once again yeah so um okay <laughs> let me be myself but i'm really very excited i don't know how to do this without you know or how to do this as a lady you know behaving myself because i'm just i can't hide this excitement it's just so much yeah it's actually bb Niger o'clock i've i've not put out any video on bb Niger 2020 or bb Niger lockdown i don't know which one you prefer to call it yeah so normally that's what i do like this is like the first um edition of bb Niger that's I didn't really do I didn't do no I didn't really I didn't do sit down videos I didn't talk about it maybe just on my Instagram and Twitter but not on YouTube um, let me not lie I've been quite busy and you know keeping up with posting videos updates about everything that ev the happenings in the house and everything you know, I knew that it wasn't going to be easy and I really just I would just I just prefer to do this like towards the end of the season to just come here and talk about you know people have been asking me who's your favorite housemate i usually don't have one housemate like even in the previous editions i always have more than one favorite that's me i have a large heart you know so i just can't like one person in short i like everybody on the show but i have my favorites and well if you're on my instagram by now you know that yeah dorothy is just she's the vibe and i absolutely love dorothy um i'm when, when it comes to people and me liking someone me rooting for someone it's usually not about what what is popular like what is popular what people really like no it's about the person's like now i've not seen these people you know one-on-one -on -one, but from what i've seen on tv i know for a fact that you know Dorothy is someone that even if she wasn't in the house this is who she is now in the house is who she is outside but I'm not just going to come here and just you know be doing campaign campaigning and all of that I'm just going to go straight to the point and tell you why I like these two people they're actually two not Dorothy but Dorothy is my favorite favorite yeah 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 and it really has nothing to do with um what do you call it women women supporting women or anything no i just like her it's really even if it's a guy that i like i'll just that's me it's not about women it's good for women to support women which almost got dorothy into trouble anyways yeah let's let's not talk about that yeah i love supporting women but for me when it comes to these kind of issues i'm like who do i like most you're a man you're a woman i just this is who i vibe with basically so my favorite favorite my favorite favorite is dorothy then my favorite favorite again no my favorite 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 is dorothy then my favorite favorite is lacon yeah i'm such a rapper okay <laughs> let me be serious but um let me just quickly tell you why i like these two people and let me also tell you i did start out liking them like when the show started i had other people in mind like people that i really liked they are not even in the house anymore so i liked them a lot i was rooting for them but as the show proceeded i started to see you know we not just me we started to see people for who they really are and it's not to say that these other people are bad or they are evil or anything it's just you know how even in our everyday lives you know how you just see someone and you just vibe with that person i feel like dorothy is just that kind of a person that if i knew like if i saw i'll just vibe with her she's just like it's hard not to like her i just let's be factual about this it's hard not to like dorothy she's bubbly she's sweet like the notes that they gave them on saturday that i was talking the notes that described them the notes on the scents that described them they described dorothy as sweet and bubbly she has a bubbly personality she's sweet she's she's a she's a girl's girl a guy's girl she's so you know and she's not like everywhere she knows when to stay quiet she knows when to talk she knows when to play there's always a she has boundaries she knows she respects herself i love people that I respect i just don't respect yourself in this life and i love you okay now i don't have to love you anyways you know 
I'm just saying. But then, you know, I just love people that are just, you know, they respect, they respect is there, she respects others, she respects herself, she respects her space, she knows when she wants to be alone, she knows when she wants to talk, when she wants to vibe, when she wants to play, when she wants to sing, when she wants to dance. Ah, God. I just love people like that. Okay. Let me stop. But when I like someone, that's how I thought. And then Lecon. Okay. No, let me finish with Dorothy first. You know. Okay. <laughs> so basically, that's why. Like, and I think this is one of the reasons why, or this is the reasons why people like are, are fans. When you ask them, that's what they will say. Dorothy is playful. She's free spirited. She's ah, she's so mature. Like, see, if you ask me, apart from the fact that she's playful, she's 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 the vibe. Dorothy is a vibe. O T T T. She's just a vibe. Apart from that, see, when I tell people it's not by age, Dorothy is not, you know, she's not one of the oldest in the house, but she's so mature. See, eh? There are times when I saw that, you know, Dorothy was pissed at some at some situations. She was pissed at some people and she was able to, you know, come and say, she ah, you don't have to tell her be coming down because on her own she's a coming down queen you know so you don't have to tell her to calm down she's always so i'm i'm like sometimes i ask myself how do you master the art of coming down like this because me myself i know that ah, in some situations i'm not that i know i always try to be cool you know gentle Okay, kiss my Behave yourself. Okay, but seriously, I like to be, I always, I'm usually a gentle lady. I don't like to fight. I just like to be in my space, you know, and I like gentle people too. But sometimes, <laughs> when, huh, you understand me? When you, when you really piss me off to that point where, ah, ah, I'm never a violent person, but when I open my mouth, like when I'm when I've been pushed to the wall, when I open my mouth, the kind of things that come out of my mouth, I'm not proud of. You understand? So when I see people that like, even when they are pushed to the wall, when they when they are dead, they just still master the art of coming down, like relax and be taken care of. They don't shout, they don't fight. I just doff my heart. That's why I like Dorothy. That she's so mature. It's not like she doesn't fight. She doesn't get angry, but she's able to. You don't have to tell her, you don't have to advise her that don't do this, don't talk to this person, don't say this. She knows when to talk. You know, even when you're trying to, I don't want to mention names, when you're trying to instigate her that do this, do that, she knows what she has to do. She knows that she doesn't have to fight people. She knows she doesn't have to fight over things. She doesn't have to fight over people. She doesn't, she's just herself. And, ah, homo, mofo, you understand? No homo, but mofo. That's just, let's just leave it there. And then they come down, see. Hmm. For Lecon, it wasn't even one of those that I liked at first. I just saw that. Oh, I noticed very early in the show that oh, this guy is this guy is actually intelligent too, and I like intelligent people. Like ah, this guy is intelligent too. Okay, but just that was just it. It wasn't. It wasn't. Really, it wasn't that deep. But after the show was going on, you know, we saw the way things were playing out. Ah, mobile too far. I was like ah, ah, can we? you understand because you can't tell me that that guy did not buy with the number of people rooting for him like they are rooting for Leko and you not say you are beefing him you talk to yourself don't 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 fight glory don't be a glory fighter don't be a destiny attacker just baffle guy so because see the ability to baffle guy will make your life easy so me i like lecon so i don't have to baffle guy me i already like him so let's let's imagine our best speaker we know how this thing is going to end up we know how this thing this finale is going to play so let's just you know relax <sighs> and be taken care of you know so i don't want to say anything because i don't know big brother and i don't know how but we are guessing how it should look, you know. We kind of know how this is going to play out, so let me just stop. But anyways, anyways, I just said, let me come here. Let me do a little makeup, you know, look a little, a little fly. Or am I looking super fly? Okay, you know, with some highlights blinding my haters. 
you know, and talk about my two favorite housemates of the BB Niger lockdown. Yeah, Dorothy and Lekon. See, is that Lekon that you people used to call him? It's the thing. When I say Lekon, it's always as if, you know, my teeth will okay, Kendro. So I just, I prefer to call him Lekon. So Dorothy and Lekon for me all day, every freaking day. Yeah, yeah. So for me, if Lekon wins, I'm good. Dorothy wins, I'm good. But your girl is in support of these two men because these two people I just glad in them. I love them. See, if I start to talk from now till tomorrow, we will not leave this place though because I'm just really, really, I'm always excited about Dorothy and Lekon. Anytime I see them on the screen, I'm like, I'm just, ah, what kind of love is this? See, I won't even like the last time I felt this excited about a contestant, the way I feel about Dorothy, I won't even like, I feel it was, it was during the, um, the FA um, edition. I was rooting for if he ah, shouting, screaming, doing all those things. Ah, if he has to win, no worry, you know, worry. And from that time up until now, I think this like is Dorothy is this one, eh? You see where I screamed when Dorothy made it to the finale. I was like, ah, 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 O T T T. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be myself. So basically, that's why I came here to talk about. Let me know in the comment section who's your favorite DB Niger 2020 housemates. What do you think about the whole edition? Did you enjoy it? A lot of things. People have been saying a lot of things. I'm thinking I should even do a video about how everything played out and how we still have Neo and V in the house. How they made it to the finale and people are just, they don't want to accept that. They made it to the finale. They, they just accept it, you know. Welcome. So I, I'm thinking we should do another video and just just about everything that happened It's the week of the finale already now, you know Just a little video to talk about all those things and that's it. Yeah, okay no. I know it's the I to talk but you know I have to go now Edit this video and you know Bye-bye <laughs> Okay guys, please don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Bye